Dr. Flux here to talk about the Nova project. This right here is a project that's been going on for a year now. It's amazing that a year has already passed. But the short story of this is essentially we wanted a blaster for Flux Labs or Dr. Flux, you know, a, a blaster that I could call my own. And so my very talented designer began work on this about a year ago and it's gone through about 36 revisions. And after a year of this project and a lot of people helping us, I'm very happy to have it here before you. Now, some of you are aware that have been following the channel, we did a soft launch of the Nova a few months ago. The biggest hurdle we had was the price point. It's, we just could not drive, get the price low enough to get it in everyone's hands. So of course we didn't sell that many. So Flux Labs partnered up with Xbox Games and he was able to basically rework and take another look at the Nova, you know, basically our cost and, you know, all the hardware and everything and make a little tweaks. And he's able to sell this thing at $120, which I don't know how he's able to do it. Because of that, we're just going to let Xbox games do all the Nova distribution. So that's building and selling and, you know, handling the Nova for us which is awesome. So if you would like one of these today for a very affordable price of $120, unless he adjusts the price, I would say head on over and pick one up. This video is gonna be primarily a build guide for the Nova. Now, as of right now, I know there are no kits available, but for in the future and for people who purchase Novas, it's a good thing to be able to take apart your blaster, put it back together and understand how the stuff works. So that's kind of the primary purpose of this video. Now, before we dive in, I do wanna make a special note. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Here on the channel, we have a lot of 3D printed blasters and a common question and comment that I get is, you know, what kind of printer should I get? Or I don't wanna get a printer. What do I do if I, if I don't have a printer? Can someone print this for me? And it turns out PCB Way is a great resource to get 3D printed parts done for you at an affordable price. And their delivery times from China are actually very fast. I was actually blown away as to how fast parts can get to me. It's about a two week lead time. So that's part created, put in the mail and shipped to my house. And I'm in Washington, United States. This build today that we are doing actually has a special Nova metal cage from PCB way. And I can tell you right now, the Nova cage, when it's made out of metal is just very nice. And just so you're all are wondering, the standard cage inside of a Nova is actually a cage that is available through open flywheel project. So you can always go to Thingiverse or whatnot, grab the cage and then send it to PCB way to be printed. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the build guide for the flux labs Nova. <laughs> So the first thing we start with is the brass inserts. This blaster utilizes quite a few brass inserts for both the inside frame and the outside panels. We typically use an old soldering iron to sink these in, and then we'll usually go back with some type of tool and just kind of make sure each insert is flush. The main shell pieces have five screws on the outside and then two for the pistol grips, totaling in 14 screws on for the shells. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install the flywheel cage. Now this one was the special PCB way metal cage that we had done for this project. Special thanks to PCB way, our official channel sponsor. Now we're gonna install the brass pins. These are the main pivot pins used for the trigger system. Here we have the pusher that takes one of the small pins and we use a little bit of CA glue to set that in. 
Also on the trigger, we have a pen and also some more CA glue. This right here is the pusher arm and that just links that together. Now we have the rev trigger. This is just your standard semi-auto flywheeler wiring job. Here we're going to use the 21 amp micro switch. We take off the normally closed prong. Now that we have the flywheel rev wired up, it gets put in place down in the pistol grip. Here we're cutting the end for the XD60 connection. And here's the negative lead wire. And now that all the wiring is done, we'll go ahead and just dry fit all the parts. Here we have the return spring for the pusher arm. We hook up this trigger assembly and everything looks good. This right here is the mag release. We use two springs and they can be kind of a pain. Basically, we seat the spring in and then feed in the mag release. Here is a minimized muzzle brake. And here is the ring. As you can see, we have two halves of the Picatinny. There's a couple options here. We sometimes glue them together for assembly or just assemble them one on each side. They just are keyed right in, so you just slide them in. Then we sandwich all the parts together. The tricky part is making sure that mag release spring gets seated properly. And we forgot to add some thread lock onto the motor screws, so we'll do that now. Now we're just going to close up the frame with these M3 bolts. Next up, we're going to install the pistol grip. This is done with two of the smallest M3 bolts.
two on each side. Now we're going to seat the flywheel motors. And let's test. Everything's looking good. Now to put the shell on. The nice thing about these panels is you can quickly swap them out to change the cosmetic look of your Nova. This blaster takes a 3S LiPo and this is the side battery door. Once again, I want to thank everyone involved with this project. Thank you for making this dream a reality. I hope you enjoyed watching on how to build a Nova. If you'd like to pick one up, like I said before, head on over to Xbox Games. He has a ton of color varieties. Love this, this design and this blaster that you can swap it out and make it look however you want. There's some really stellar color options out there. In addition, I want to thank our official channel sponsor, PCB Way. With your support, we can continue to make content like this and I look forward to doing much more work with you in the future. And for all you viewers out there that need to use PCB Way for a service, I will leave links in the description. As always, I'm Dr. Flux. Be safe and happy foam flinging.